CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, revealed that Deacon was furious over Sheila's death. And certainly, Stephanie's intention wanted to kill Sheila, not out of legitimate self-defense. Sheila went to Deacon's house without bringing a weapon, so Steffi could conclude that Sheila went there to kill Steffi. Steffi doesn't want to leave, save Sheila's life. She took the knife and stabbed it straight into Sheila's heart. It was like wanting Sheila to die. Sheila and Deacon have been living together for a while now. Deacon knows that Sheila's changed quite a bit. She strives to become a better person, but Steffi cruelly killed Sheila and caused her to lose that chance. Even though most people tried to cover for Steffi, Deacon disagreed. Steffi kills Sheila and Steffi is forced to pay for her crime. Deacon will follow this case to the end and he will force Steffi to pay for this action. Meanwhile, Shauna will return to Los Angeles. Seems like this time she's determined to win Ridge. Shauna and Ridge once spent time together. Ridge is a man with flowers. Shauna knows that well. Ridge is also currently in a love relationship with Brooke, but that did not affect Shauna's determination. When she decided to return to Los Angeles, Shauna was determined to have Ridge. She would do everything she could to achieve her goal. Brooke's worried because Ridge and Shauna almost got married in the past. Although Brooke and Ridge's relationship is still going well, Brooke can't be sure of anything. Ridge has always been a man with flowers. Brooke couldn't grasp Ridge's thoughts, so Shauna can return as a threat to Brooke. Can Brooke stand still and accept defeat? She must have found a way to keep Ridge elsewhere. Steffi and Finn's relationship is experiencing conflict. After Sheila's death, Finn couldn't face Steffi. Steffi explains to Finn that she killed Sheila in self-defense. If Steffi hadn't acted first, the injured person would have been Steffi. But Finn can't accept Steffi's explanation. Sheila's death was a big shock to Finn. After all, Sheila's Finn's biological mother. Finn never thought that Sheila would die. He tried very hard to sympathize with Sheila, but couldn't. Just facing Steffi makes Finn remember Sheila's death. Finn feels comfortable around Hope. Hope can understand Finn's feelings. You can confide in Hope without having to be afraid of anything. Hope and Finn's relationship is developing very well. But Thomas and Hope are still in love, and Steffi still hasn't divorced Finn. So can Hope and Thomas get together?